Hey people, hello, welcome back to the series where I am mining the entire world. As you know, this is a crazy and massive project, so I need those guys to help me and all of this area is used to my uh, back office operations. I figured it out that uh, it was a good idea, since the hole is actually approaching that village, to kind of evacuate the remaining villagers. There are not many villagers anymore over here, at least I, I have the feeling that there are maybe two or three. So my idea is to pick them with the boat, which I kind of forgot the boat, and bring them together with the remaining army of masons. So let me actually go and pick one and then let me explain you what is my idea. I actually thought that there would be more villagers over there and that I might have the need to, well, use my sword, but actually no, there are only three villagers over there, which is good, I, I, I thought that I could maybe have four more, but at least three is, is perfect, that's, that's really good. Okay, now that we are here we have a problem, I do need to take this gentleman off the way so he doesn't fall under it, because this guy is just a, a leather worker where sometimes I used to trade leather. Um, I think I'm just going to put you on the boat so you don't, uh, well, get on the way. Uh, what are you two up to? I see you. Don't don't hide behind your buddy. No, no, don't hide. Okay, fine, fine. Uh, don't hide. This is going to be the hardest one to fill, so I think that I'm going to start over here because I, I need to open a bit of space over here and I think I can pass just like this. Yes, I can. Perfect. Now, uh, boat over here. I need to remove the boat without angry any of the villagers so i do this perfect now buddies uh, you go go back i i need to do this very quickly uh okay th there we go there we go now uh what do i need to do uh well protect this again so nothing very hard uh you buddy you you stay there uh th there you go you are now mine forever before actually trying to convert them to masons, uh, ah, let me just go and uh, get the remaining ones. Profession-wise, I am going to have even more masons. I'm going to have three more masons in the hope that actually one of those masons can actually buy diorite. I already have had two buying andesite, two buying granite, and I think one buying both things. My hope is that at least one of these guys can actually, well by uh, diorite, so uh, wish me luck. I thought I would have more clay balls, so maybe I should take some emeralds just in case these ones are actually not enough to level those guys. Uh, let me see. Buddy, come here. Uh, you are the next one. Take it. There you go. You actually leveled. Okay, uh, what do you buy now? Uh, the stone one? Uh, oh yeah, right. Everyone buys the stone now. Uh, yeah. Trades done, villagers upgraded, and these are the final results. Uh, this buddy over here, I sadly hit them, so he is quite mad at me, but I'm pretty sure that over the time with the trades I can make him go well, and he buys granite, that's, that's okay. Then I have this buddy, which actually is the buddy that I was looking for. He actually is by both andesite and diorite, that's great, and this buddy over here, uh, excuse me, uh, excuse me, uh, this guy is also a little bit mad because I also eat him. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, I have two guys that don't like me at all, which is not good and I will waste a ton of uh, resources. But uh, resources, <laughs> that's not a problem. Imagine that I have uh, a, a lot of stone over here to trade with them. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not a problem. Anyway, now I have uh, two new masons that I don't really like, they are just okay, and I have my new favorite mason, the ones that buy diorite, and uh, yeah, another huge step on improving my efficiency. Thank you so much for watching guys, this was uh, what I've been doing in the back office this week, and uh, yeah, I really hope that you are enjoying the show, and I see you on the next one.